So this is the PowerPoint we had in class for the Earth Slayers. What are the main characteristics of the Earth Slayers, and how can the Earth Slayers be illustrated? Those are the two main things you need to know for this quiz. Earth's crust is the outer layer of the Earth, similar to the skin on an apple, made up of both continental and oceanic crust. 5 to 50 kilometers thick. Oceanic crust, a thin layer of crust that overlies the ocean basins, more dense than continental crust, mostly basalt rock. Thinner than continental crust, it is 5 to 10 kilometers thick. Younger than continental crust, because it is constantly renewing itself along ridge lines. Uh, there is something in the mid-Atlantic called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge that is I think it's like two centimeters a year uh, that it's producing new crust. Continental crust. Layer of rock which forms the continents but it's less dense than oceanic rock. Mostly granite. Thicker than oceanic crust. Remember that density. It's very important. It's less dense. So that's why it's like higher up it floats on top. When you get the plate tectonics, that's something that you'll want to know about. Older than oceanic crust. We already did that in class. Earth, Earth's layers. Uh, the lithosphere. <clears throat> it's the solid outer section of the Earth, which includes the crust. And also includes the cool, dense, rigid upper part of the mantle. So I saw written somewhere in our labs that the lith uh, lithosphere and the asthenosphere uh, are various kinematic layers. Um, they are defined by their movement or lack of movement. The asthenosphere is the solid part of the upper mantle, weaker, less rigid, plasticity like silly putty. Um, so that's really its defining characteristic. Crust moves over the plastic-like asthenosphere. These plates crash into each other. Here, the oceanic crust is subducting under the continental crust, which creates volcanoes. So this is where you had to copy this down. Do your best to remember these, these parts. All right, these are the uh, mantle slides, largest layer of the Earth under the crust about 2,890 kilometers. That's hard for you to imagine. Remember how big one meter is. A kilometer is 1,000 of those. Just one. So this is nearly 3 million meters under the crust, which is only 5 to 20 kilometers thick. Composed of silicate rocks rich in magnesium and iron. Intense heat causes the rocks to rise, then cool and sink like a lava lamp or a hot air balloon. The process is called convection, which causes the crust to move. Convection currents, something we talked about in our labs. Average temperature, 3,000 degrees. Earth's layers. Uh, the outer core, liquid layer, magma, 2,300 kilometers thick. It's the second largest layer, not as large as the mantle. Composed of liquid iron and nickel. Lies between the inner core and the mantle. Because the magma moves around the inner core, Earth's, Earth's magnetic field is created. Think about rubbing a piece of iron on a magnet. You can magnetize it that way. It's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't say average temperature 4,000 to 5,000 degrees. Uh, inner core, a solid ball of metal because of the intense pressure. Remember that. Solid, not liquid. Not liquid like the outer core. Solid because of pressure. Those are important. 1,250 kilometers thick made of solid nickel and iron. So hot it melts everything in the outer core. Spins at a rate faster than the Earth rotates. 
and it's the densest layer of the Earth. It's the densest layer. That's why it's there. If it wasn't as dense as it is, it would not be there. It's dense. It's very dense. Density. Density. It's something you need to know about. It's the amount of material that you can fit into a given space. And the inner core is the densest layer. Average temperature, 5,000 degrees to 6,000 degrees. What are seismic waves? Waves of energy caused by earthquakes and other rock movement travel through some layers of the earth, recorded with seismographs. Seismic waves are used to determine which layers of the earth are solid or liquid. Some seismic waves cannot pass through certain layers, giving us a clue to the layer's composition. Let's go back to that. Let's see here. I think there's a pointer thing. There we go. All right. So remember, um, okay, so S waves or secondary waves are the black ones. P waves, primary waves are the yellow ones. Remember, secondary waves cannot pass through liquid. Do you see this? The liquid outer core is blocking these S waves, these secondary waves. The, see, P wave shadow zone, look at that. Can't see anything. So if we were recording here on this part of the Earth, you would see something here. You would expect to see something here, but you can't. You would expect to see something here, but you can't. You would expect to see something here, but you can't. But what we do see are these secondary waves. And we can tell using, tr using trigonometry that they have been bent and curved. If you think about sound passing through water versus on the surface of the earth, it's different. It's being bent. Um, this isn't exactly like sound, but it's similar concepts. Uh, the speed at which they move does change. Um, I think some of the reason why they bend actually is because of the way that uh, the material rotates. Um, anyway, uh, that's just complete conjecture. But yeah, so the primary waves, the S waves, can go through different materials. The primary waves can pass through solid and liquid, but they are bent. Secondary waves, again, cannot pass through liquid, but they can pass through solid. Okay. Can you list the characteristics of each of the Earth's layers? It's very important. Let's just do a little rundown. The, here, I'll get my pointer again. Inner core, solid, caused by pressure. The densest layer, it's iron and nickel composition. The outer core is iron and nickel composition also, but it's liquid. And what were these like? 6,000 degrees was the inner core and like 4,000 degrees was the outer core and then like 3,000 degrees was the mantle. The mantle is where you find magma. It's also where uh, you have convection currents that go in these circles. So when you have material that's here close to the outer core it gets hot and it rises and it cools when it's towards the surface and then it sinks because the material is actually becoming less dense when it gets hot so it rises and then it cools and it gets more dense because it's cooling and so it sinks um what were the primary elements in the mantle i think it said in this slide it was like magnesium uh, silicates um, I believe there's also a lot of aluminum. There's even magnesium in the core, but not as much as iron and nickel. So just like magnesium, silicates, and um, and then the crust, of course. Crust, we have two main types of crust, oceanic crust and continental crust. Oceanic crust is made of basalt and is more dense than continental crust, which is made of granite. Um... There we go. Illustrate the layers of the earth. 
I'm not going to do that. You can do that. And that's it. Good luck on your test or in your quiz. If you understand this material, you will do well on the test. And oops, where's my stop button?